Hi there, RC Girl here. So in this video, I'll walk you through what it takes to get into your first RC helicopter flight. Here I have the Blade 120S from Horizon Hobby. This is actually my second helicopter, but if this is your first, I think it's a great starter. It has beginner, intermediate, and expert flight modes, and also a stabilizing gyro. And this is their bind and fly version, because I already have a transmitter. I have the Spectrum DX6, which I'll link it to, but if you don't have a transmitter, you could buy their ready to fly version. It has everything included, including the transmitter. So it'll get you up in the air real quick. And then after we unbox it, I'm going to take it to my local park, nice soft grassy area for my first flight. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you'll find reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, and now RC flight videos. So make sure to subscribe if you guys wanna see more in the future. This is actually my second Blade 120. I had the original SR years ago before Horizon added their safe features and the gyro function. So I just started getting off the ground and up in the air with RC. So my last video was the beginner's guide to RC flight. Check that out. It's a review of the Sport Cub S and I definitely caught the plane bug and I think also the helicopter bug. RC flight is definitely addicting, so be warned. So there's this guy at my local park. He's freaking amazing. He can do all these whoops and turns. I don't even know the name of the moves, but he's awesome and it's definitely an inspiration. All right, enough yapping. Let's get to the unboxing. So there's no assembly required. So here we go, this is the Blade 120S. It has a removable body here so you can take it off and access your electronics. It is a fixed pitch rotor, which means that you can't change the pitch or the angle of the blades. So that means no inverted flying, but as your first helicopter or second in this case, um, I don't really have the skills to be doing that anyway. So this is gonna be perfect for your first flight. And here we have a small little tail rotor. So this is the original Blade 120SR and it's been super crashed a bunch of times. The body's broken. I've also replaced the landing gear and I think once the tail rotor motor went out so I had to replace that as well. And you'll notice here that it comes with a fly bar. So that was the pre-gyro function that helped to self-stabilize. But I found this really, really hard to fly. No safe features, no beginner intermediate advanced fun functions, no panic button. This. Blade 120S is definitely gonna be an upgrade and definitely gonna be a lot easier to fly for your first time. Next, it comes with two 1S LiPos and these are 500 milliamp, 25 discharge rate. I actually bought a couple more because it only really gives you about a five minute flight time. So you're gonna to wanna to have a couple backup batteries available so you can fly a lot longer. And then next, it comes with a USB charger. It comes with some tools and some spare parts. Lastly, we have our handy dandy instructions packet. And this will show you how to program your transmitter if you have the bind and fly version. You're gonna need to set up the beginner, intermediate, and advanced modes, and also set the panic button. So let's put this guy aside for now and open up our transmitter. So here we have the Spectrum DX6 transmitter, and I talked about this a little bit more in my Sport Cub S video, my previous video. So I definitely recommend if you're staying in the RC flight hobby to invest in a nicer transmitter because you really get to know it and you can program all of your planes and helicopters in one transmitter, good to go. So a few things I wanted to mention about programming the helicopter into your transmitter is that you're actually setting it up as an airplane. Then you're gonna have to set your beginner intermediate and advanced flight modes, as well as your panic button here. If anything goes wrong, it'll self-correct and self-stabilize the helicopter for you. Another thing that is a good habit to do if you're just getting into RC flight, helicopter flight, is that you wanna also program a throttle kill in there. So when you power up, if you accidentally have your throttle all the way up, it's not gonna power up <laughs> the rotors and chop someone's fingers off on accident. So another thing to mention about programming is that if you do have a bad crash or you notice that there's drift in the helicopter under normal flight conditions without any wind, you might have to recalibrate it. I've had to do that once already. 
and it shows you in the instructions packet how to do the drift calibration. You put the throttle sticks in the lower corners and it'll put it into a calibration mode. It walks you through all the steps to do that and I noticed that it actually did fly way, way, way better after I did the drift calibration. It should already be calibrated from the factory when you first get it. Another the great thing is if you do end up crashing it, all the parts are available online. Super easy to get. Okay, let's plug in the battery. I wanna show you guys the safe functions in the gyro. First though, you wanna make sure that your transmitter is powered on. Always a good habit. And then I'll select the correct model. I just got a new timber, which I'm super excited about. I'll have to do a video on it later, but my timber is currently selected as the model. So we've selected our model, transmitter is on, all our sticks are in the right position. We're going to insert the battery, make sure it's pushed all the way forward, and then plug it in after because you wanna quickly set it down so the gyro will initialize. So I set it down flat on a flat surface. Servos have kicked in. All right. Test your servos. So if you've never, never flown at all, I would try out a flight simulator. If anything, you can get a cheap version for your iPad. That'll really allow you to get a feel for the controls. So a little bit about the safe functions. I'm gonna unplug this guy for a second because it's making all sorts of servo noises. All right. So just a little bit about the safe functions. As I mentioned, there's three flight modes. So in beginner mode, it's gonna limit your stick control and it's not gonna put you in those extreme pitch and roll angles. And it also has the most gyro function. And then intermediate mode gives you a little bit more control on your sticks and also has the gyro function still active. And then when you flip into the expert mode, it's gonna give you full control. So you're gonna be able to do some of those more extreme movements. And then lastly, it also has the panic button. So if you're about to crash or your helicopter is a little bit out of control, you can always hit this and it's gonna self-stabilize and come back to a neutral flying position. Great when you're first learning. I did wanna mention though that it can teach you bad habits if you stay in beginner mode for a long time. Once you start getting a little bit better, I would definitely suggest flipping into the intermediate and advanced modes and getting used to those because that's gonna be more realistic. So one last thing I did want to mention is that this thing does not like wind at all. It's really hard to overcome the wind, especially in the beginner and intermediate modes because it limits your controls. So pick a very calm day for your first flight. I would suggest a nice open grassy field for your first flight. So if you do crash, it's not going to damage your helicopter. All right, let's take it out to the field. All right, here we are at the park and I have a nice open grassy area to do the flight. So let's set it down. You want it to be on a nice level surface for your first takeoff. Set it down here. Step a couple feet away so you're not in the <laughs> line of fire. Turn your throttle kill off and you're ready to go. And we're off. Wow wanting to go that way. Do you are take off again, take two. Wow, so there's a little bit of wind and it's putting me basically way over there. Let's try and bring it back. All right, so there's a little bit of wind here. So I'm gonna flip it into intermediate mode. It's gonna give me some more controls and hopefully we're gonna be able to fly this okay. There we go. Wow. Yeah, that's better. Let's do a little spinny thing. <laughs> okay, let's bring it back. So right now I'm kind of fighting the wind. Wow. Oopsies. <laughs> so I forgot about the panic button that time. I could have pressed it.
video, folks. That is the Blade 120S. If you're looking to get into RC helicopters, this is a good choice to test out your flying skills. As you can see, I'm definitely not an expert. I definitely need a lot of time practicing with this little guy, but the beginner, intermediate, advanced modes help you progress really quickly. So let me know if you have any tips for the beginner RC helicopter pilot. I'd love to share those with everyone and looking forward to bringing you guys more videos in the future. Or see you later.